Hi, and welcome to Object Undefined. Here you'll find bite-sized lessons in software architecture, computer science, and AI designed to fit into your busy day. Picture this. Your application crashes due to a single API failure. Frustrating, isn't it? Retry patterns can be your savior, ensuring resilience and minimizing unexpected downtime in modern software development. In this video, we'll explore three essential retry patterns, naive retry, retry with exponential backoff, and circuit breaker. These strategies will help you build robust applications that withstand API hiccups. Suppose you have three services, A, B, and C. They call each other in a chain. It is not important whether the connectivity is request response based. Let's assume, for some reason, connectivity between service B and service C breaks for a moment and then recovers. It happens for just a moment, but the request sent from B to C is lost and recovered just after that. The message is lost. Service B got a timeout. How can we tackle the issue? The naive solution is to retry. Let me introduce the naive retry pattern. The naive retry pattern lets try to resend the message to service B A. Fixed number of attempts until success, with fixed delays between retries. This is a satisfactory solution as long as disconnections occur infrequently. One, two retry attempts and we are back on track. If you find the content useful, please like the video and subscribe. Naive retry is effective for transient errors, but beware of overloading your system. It's not always the best choice, especially for persistent issues. Next, we'll explore a smarter approach. Let's assume that service C is down for some reason. Not a temporary failure, but it is not responsive for a short period of time. For instance, service C is being restarted. And unfortunately, exactly at this moment, service B is calling service C. Restart may take some period of time, so service B called C once, failed, called for the second time, and failed again. Here comes smarter retry strategy. Exponential backoff is a smarter retry strategy. It increases the wait time between retries exponentially, reducing server load. Augmenting the delay between retries will give a chance to come back and not be overloaded. The exponential backoff retry proposes increasing the delay between the retry attempts to give a chance to service C to come back. Exponential backoff increases the delay between attempts, usually in geometric progression. The intuition behind it is to let the failed server recover. If it fails a second time, it may need a bit more time to come back, and there is no value in an immediate retry. This pattern shines in scenarios with fluctuating server loads. Spacing out retries prevents overwhelming the server, making it a preferred choice for many developers. Suppose that service C is down for a relatively long period of time. Then, in the case of the naive approach, service B will accept the request, in its turn will call service C, it will not respond, that will try again and again till it reaches the maximum number of retries. Suppose service B receives thousands, tens of thousands, or millions of requests, each of which fails, but after it waits for the maximum number of retries to fail, service B becomes overloaded. As a result, service B becomes unavailable as well. Within a short period, service A will also fail, and the entire system will become unavailable. This cascading failure domino effect is usually called retry storm. What is the core principle of circuit breaker? Check whether the service is marked as failed, meaning the circuit breaker is open. If yes, immediately return the operation unavailable message. This way we avoid unnecessary timeouts. If no, meaning the circuit breaker is closed, call the service. If the service call fails after a predefined number of attempts, mark it was failed and open the circuit break. Okay, the circuit breaker is open, and none of the requests are passed further. Will it be open forever? No, the circuit breaker will be open for a predefined amount of time, time out, and then it will be switched to the half open state. Half open state means that one of X requests will try to access the service. Once the number of sequential calls succeeds, the circuit breaker will be back in the closed and success state and will function as usual. The circuit breaker pattern acts as a safeguard, preventing system overload by halting requests when failures reach a threshold. 
By using these retry patterns, you'll enhance your application's resilience. Now, take action. Implement these strategies in your projects and watch your software withstand the test of time.